Hey everybody, Lance Koike here. I just wanna run you through real quick. A uh, little tech tip on uploading videos at a much faster pace from your phone. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, I downloaded this speed test by Ookla app. Um, let's review privacy, uh, location. Only while, only while using the app, that's fine. Uh, no, don't make phone calls. Do not allow, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry team. I just want to test, right? So what it does is it, uh, I'll try to focus here. Sorry for the hand holding. Um, it finds your internet and your nearest hub here and it connects to it and it sees how long that takes. So let's just run the test. Here I'm on Wi-Fi on my phone. My Wi-Fi is really good. My phone is really good. Oh, dang. And our, uh, our internet's really good. So it's gigabit up, gigabit down fiber. That's 1,000 up, 1,000 down. Kind of. Sometimes our upload is, sometimes our upload is 60 and sometimes it's 800, I don't know. <laughs> These numbers are great. So 443, and 334, 449 and 334. Download and upload. That's really good. Um, and I probably wouldn't notice problems with this, but I'm a bit of a psycho. And when I have to upload videos directly from my phone, I want them to go a little bit faster. So I kind of want to show you a trick to do that. So you have to buy, if you see this blue line here, you have to buy a little cord. And this one says staples on it. <laughs> um, I've been using it on my laptop here because it works for that as well. But essentially a wired connection is more reliable, it's faster, and the, you know, the latency is faster too. So it's like, it'll make a connection faster and it will transfer your data faster. So let's try to plug this in right here. I just got this, so I got this because my laptop uh, Wi-Fi driver needed updating and I didn't have internet because uh, I didn't have Wi-Fi on my thing. So I went to Staples, as you see here, and I bought this RJ45 to USB-C connector. And that's where my little ethernet cord there plugs in. And that blue ethernet cord then runs all the way to my router slash switch slash Wi-Fi satellite right here. Okay, so if you have access to plugging directly into your router or the router that you're using, uh, or a switch that is connected to the router, then I highly recommend it um, for, you know, whenever you can. It'll cut your upload speeds at least in half. It'll probably cut mine about in half, but we're gonna, we're gonna test it and we're gonna see. So wire connection is set and you can see this little icon up here at the top. I don't have the Wi-Fi signal. I have, so I have sound is off and then I have this little arrow thing. That means I'm on my ethernet. Let's see if we can see that in here. So yeah, my Wi-Fi is absent. It's not full. Um, cool. Good idea. Good idea. Now let's rerun the test and see what happens. See if it looks any better. Downloads a little better. That's pretty significant. My parents just upgraded from 50 megabit internet. So the difference here is double, triple, wait, 449, I think it was. It's like three times what they had max. So, you know, my Wi-Fi speeds on my phone were already really good, but these are even better, both of them. So what that means is it's gonna take me like half the time to upload my videos. So, especially if I don't need to be on my phone, it's really nice to just, hey, I'm gonna set it down, I'm gonna plug it in here, and I'm just gonna let it upload. Um, but that is a quick little networking tip to 
get your videos uploaded faster. The, the caveats that I, I do wanna say are, there are three things that will limit your upload speed. One of them is totally out of your control. It's how the server uh, that you're uploading to accepts the connection. So if, you know, if you're uploading to YouTube and YouTube is down, then there's nothing you can do about that. Um, now, the other thing is what we were addressing here, which is uh, what is my local network? What is this cable and my router able to do? Um, so you, I would just recommend buying a Cat6 cable, Category 6 Ethernet cable. Um, or you can search for gigabit. Gigabit sometimes works. And you'll want a router that can handle gigabit speeds. Not all routers can do that. So that is number one local caveat. Number two local caveat is if you only pay for a 100 megabit download and 10 megabit upload, plugging it in is probably not gonna help too much. Um, so take this for what it's worth, uh, but good luck.